This is the eyeball you're going to get. It's in a tray. It's covered with stuff like uh, fat, extraocular muscles. That's the front. So if anyone knows eyeballs already, what's this part right in the front? That's the cornea. That's the cornea. So one of the things you're going to do is when you get your eyeball, you'll pick a little bit around the edge of the cornea like I have. So maybe zoom in on this. I want to see that. So you're, okay. If you pull up a little edge like this, that edge is a conjunctiva. What is conjunctiva? It extends from the edge of the cornea, across the white of your eye, and up inside your eye lens. Now I'm going to roll this thing over. You're going to do this as well. So you've picked up the conjunctiva. Now you roll it over and go, oh, where's my optic nerve? Well, it's pretty obvious on this particular specimen. I have another specimen, or it's less obvious. Well, maybe it's not so bad here. If you can't find it at all, you pull the tissue back until you go, oh, look at that. It's not the size of a pencil, but close. Light beige in color, because you want to keep the optic nerve. So I chose to show you how to hack at this one, because there's less there. I'm going to do this. Oop, I almost cut the optic nerve off. Mm -hmm. So if you bury your scissors against the tissue, you get the benefit of however sharp they are. And you just keep doing this for like 10 minutes until your hand is very tired. <laughs> Your ultimate goal is this, an eyeball, pretty clean, looks like a round structure, optic nerve coming out the back. I can still clean this a little bit more, right along what I would call the equator, because I will be trying to cut through that in a minute to separate it into a front half and a back half. So this is where you really need your goggles. Put your eyeball down in the tray. It won't squirt yeah. that far. <laughs> you put it down on the tray. You take your scalpel. Come right down on it. See how I'm like, if, it's tough. So I'm, perhaps this is a, also a little bit of a dull scalpel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have punctured the sclera. Now I back out, put my scalpel down. Pick up the scissors and cut at the equator. We're cutting it into a front half and a back half. If you have some jelly connecting the two halves, just cut through it. You want the back half and the front half. And sometimes you get this vitreous humor jelly sitting in the back half. In this particular case, I got it all in the front. So the back half, can you close it on? The back half, I see what looks like beige toilet paper. It's the retina. In fact, there's a little blossom section, a section where there's a center with little wrinkles going out from it. Come closer if you want. Little wrinkles heading out from it. That's where the retina is attached. So if I just turn this thing aside. Look how easy it comes out. It's very fragile. You can say, oh, it is really attached at that spot. That spot's the optic disc or blind spot. So that beige toilet paper is the retina. The next layer is special in a cow. It's black with this awesome fluorescent blue cream. That's nice. No. That's a tapetum lucidum in the cow. 
or deer or fox or dog. They have that same color as well? Mm -hmm. I don't know what color it is, but I know ours is boring. It's pure black. Okay. It is pigment and blood vessels, and it's that thin. Like so I'm just pulling it aside. We call this in human a choroid coat because okay. it's black. It's pigment and blood vessel. The blood vessels are supplying the retina with blood and oxygen. Mm -hmm. And what's left is this nice tough layer out here, which is the sclera. So the back of your eyeball was optic nerve, sclera, choroid coat, tapetum lucidum in the cow, retina attached at the blind spot. Blind spot is the beginning of the optic nerve. All the nerve fibers leaving the retina to go back to the brain ugh, have to leave at some spot, and there isn't enough room left for the receptors. Now, what was the jelly? Anyone remember? Vitreous humor. Vitreous humor. What you going to do with it? You're going to get it out of there with your thumb. Paper towel, whatever you want to use. So, I took the lens out as well. That's okay. So, I'm taking out all the jelly. So, there it is. Vitreous humor. Here's the lens. Mm -hmm. Now, I would also like to dry this a little so I can see better. So I'm wadding up some paper towel. Mm, sort of gently going into the anterior half of the eyeball and pulling out whatever jelly I've got left. Cleaning it with the forceps a little bit. So the lens would have been there. Okay, in the middle. So I pop the lens out. And if you're dry and you're looking very carefully, you can see the little tiny black suspensory ligaments tear as you pull the lens out. I obviously wasn't going slow enough to see those. What's the hole called that's in here? The pupil. So it might be a slit. It might be a little bigger than that, depending on how much your eyeball has been poked and tortured. But the edges of the hole, the edges of that pupil, are the iris, blue, green, brown in color. A little further out, there's a lot of tiny ridges in the circle. That's the ciliary body. So from this point of view, from this side, you look at the anterior half of the eye, you find a lens, you remove it. You see a pupil, the edge mm -hmm. of the pupil is the iris. Further out, a nice thick structure with ridges on it called the ciliary body. Remember, looking at the outside surface of the eyeball, you have a cornea, you have a little conjunctiva, sort of skin over the white of your eye. You have sclera, the posterior part of your eye, and an optic nerve. So those are the external structures.